Aloha, patriots all over the world. Today is Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. And boy, have we got some truth bombs and bombs that have just hit. The article is Nasara Jasara, a law that would change our lives. Before I get started, I want to give hat tips and I want to thank a few people for enlightening me on Jasara and Nasara. Diane Gray, she has been awesome in introducing Jasara and Nasara. She's a very strong patriot for God and for the truth. Thank you so much, Diane, for hanging in there with me and sharing these truth bombs. Yarn, she is very, very, you'd be surprised how much she knows. She's a very, very well-informed individual and everything she has shared with me has come to fruition. It's unfortunate that she doesn't have a lot of followers at this time. I hope she does because her voice does have a lot of merit and a lot of, um, she's got a lot of good information. And Mike Hess, uh, he has been sharing with me about global resets, uh, the gold standard for over a year now. And so thank you, Mike Hess. Everything is happening now. So let's get down to it. But before I get into what is Nisara, what is Jasara, and I'm going to try and make this quick, but I may have to break it into different segments because there's a lot to cover. I'm going to start this clip, this broadcast with this particular clip from President Trump back in November of 2018. It was on the GMA show. We're going to turn now to President Trump and that public rebuke from the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, John Roberts. Roberts issuing a rare and critical statement after the president attacked a federal court and singled out one of the judges as, quote, an Obama judge. White House correspondent Tara Palmieri has more from Mar-a-Lago in Florida. Tara, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. It was a stunning message from the leader of the high court, who has typically held back from weighing in on the news of the day. And now as President Trump vows to take his legal battles to the Supreme Court, all eyes are on Chief Justice Roberts, who could be seen as a potential swing vote. Overnight, Chief Justice John Roberts standing up to President Trump after the president lashed out at an Obama-appointed judge on the Ninth Circuit Court for temporarily blocking his executive order to curb asylum seekers. I'm going to put in a major complaint because you cannot win, if you're us, a case in the Ninth Circuit. And I think it's a disgrace. This was an Obama judge. And I'll tell you what, it's not going to happen like this anymore. Roberts, who was appointed to the Supreme Court by President George W. Bush in 2005, speaking out in a rare rebuke, releasing a statement saying, quote, we do not have Obama judges or Trump judges, Bush judges or Clinton judges. What we have is an extraordinary group of dedicated judges doing their level best to do equal right to those appearing before them. But the president not letting it end there. Firing back, sorry, Chief Justice John Roberts, but you do indeed have Obama judges, and they have a much different point of view than the people who are charged with the safety of our country. It's not the first time the men have come head to head. As a candidate, the now president not holding back about the judge leading the highest court. Justice Roberts turned out to be an absolute disaster. He turned out to be an absolute disaster because he gave us Obama. Ouch, Justice Roberts. Now I'll share what I had learned and what I found out about Justice Roberts, Nasara, Jasara, the cons and how he perhaps was involved in preventing our wealth. Okay, so what is it? What is Nasara? What is Jasara in short? In short, it was formed by farmers that were taken advantage of by the government. They incorporated a section of the 14th Amendment of the Constitution into the Nasara plan. This article summarizes Nasara, Nasara origins and how it applies to us today. It is a very well-written article. I don't know the person that wrote it, but it is a very well-written article. So it is basically the 14th Amendment. So read it carefully, section four of the 14th Amendment. Amendment. And the, the farmers were very clever. Their uh, attorneys were very clever in, in highlighting this part. The validity of the public debt of the United States authorized by law, including debts incurred for payment of, of pensions and bounties for services in suppressing insur insurrection or rebellion, shall not be questioned. But neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in aid of insurrection or rebellion against the United States. Are you with me on this? Or any claim for the loss or emancipation of any slave, but all such debts, obligations, and claims shall be held illegal and void. Meaning that these debts that were, this is why the, the uh, Democratic 
party is saying we will go ahead and we're fighting for emancipation emancipation for the slaves they know that that was going to happen anyway so and all the debts because of fraud is really what it sums up to so in short what is nasara it forgives credit card mortgage and other bank debts due to the illegal banking and government activities we have been blinded by fraud for so many decades it abolishes income tax thank goodness abolishes the irs thank goodness creates a flat rate non-essential new items only sales tax revenue for the government i'm going to stop right there for a moment because in hawaii we get charged what's called general excise tax we get taxed on food on professional services if you get your see a lawyer you get taxed on it if you do a real estate transaction the, the real estate agent has to t pay the taxes on that so you get taxed on everything that you purchase um, now this one here doesn't include the food items but it does just include many of the other items so it is a flat rate tax it increases it increases benefits to senior citizens which is really great what they need returns constitutional law now that's a big one and that's going to have to be another segment that I'll do at a later date. Establishes new presidential and congressional elections within 120 days after Nasara's announcement. I'm so sorry. Let me go ahead and tell you what Nasara stands for, the acronym. Nasara stands for National Economic Security and Reformation Act. Now I'll get a little bit more into the the origins and the history of that in just a moment, but I want to kind of give you an idea of what has been held back from us. Um, creates new U.S. Treasury currency, rainbow currency, backed by gold, silver, platinum, and precious metals. Returns constitutional law to all our courts and legal matters. Why do Trump appoint all these uh, justice-fighting judges? Initiates new U.S. Treasury bank system in alignment with constitutional law. There's the reset. And they eliminates the Federal Reserve System, which has been a privately held organization run by the elites, the cabal, that has been very good about manipulating the dollar and the markets. Restores financial privacy. Retrains all judges and attorneys in constitutional law. So I don't, I doubt we'll get people, certain judges like um, that, that Judge Amy um, who is horrible uh, in this, the Stone case, but um, I doubt people like her will actually get retrained, but getting new judges is the most important. Seizes all aggressive U.S. government military actions worldwide, establishes peace throughout the world. Are we all seeing this right now? Initiates first phase of worldwide prosperity, just distribution of vast wealth, which has been accumulating for many decades. Releases enormous sums of money for humanitarian purposes enables the release of new technologies such as alternative energy devices. And there is one more thing that I did want to go ahead and cover in this, and it is on what uh, the other things that it, it will do. And it is, and it also enables the release of over 6,000 patents of suppressed technologies that are being withheld from the public under the guise of national security including free energy devices, anti-gravity, and sonic healing machines. There's a lot of patents. They already have cures for many of these different diseases and crimes and man-made viruses and all of that. They already have it. And all of these Democratic part, uh, candidates have been going around saying, I will give you a cure if I become president. Well, I'll get to that in just a moment. So in this article that I had just posted, um, the... Uh, that I just posted up here. Um, this article summarizes the origins of Nasara. I'm going to go ahead and go through this very quickly. President Clinton was the one that signed this into law. It was actually supposed to be a, announced on September 11th of 2001. All right. You with me on this? At 10 a.m. The next day on September 11, 21 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Alan Greenspan was scheduled to announce the U.S. Treasury Bank System debt forgiveness for all U.S. citizens and abolishment of the IRS as the first part of the public announcement of NASARA. Now, we all know what happened instead of that. So just before the announcement, 9 a.m., Bush Sr. ordered the demolition of World Trade Center to stop the international banking computers on floors one and two in the North Tower from initiating the new U.S. Treasury bank systems. Now, it wasn't only that we were going to be wealthy, we were going to have power, and they didn't want us to have any of that. The CIA and Mossad operators, uh, they detonated and remo remotely in Building 7, which was demolished later in the day to cover up their crimes. Now, 
because of all of this, I dug a little deeper. I kept wondering, someone big, really, really big had to be behind all of this. So here's a fact, and I've read this from many other articles and blogs. Congress has known about Nassara and Jassara, and your senator knows about Nassara. Don't believe me? Please call them or email them and see how they'll respond. I guarantee you they will not respond to you in any way. You only receive silence just like this person that has written this, um, as you will for many years. Even the, with multiple requests, I have yet to hear back from my delegates, Congressman Daryl Issa, Issa, obviously this person's from California, uh, Diane Feinstein, Barbara Boxer. Um, they are all operating under the gag order by the Supreme Court forbidding this to be discussed. Now let's get to the Supreme Court. So in these articles, you'll see that there's something common. What I have read, and again, according to some of these articles and other research that I've been looking at, what I have read is that Justice John Roberts was in bed with Papa Bush to prevent Jasara Nasara from actually coming to fruition. And instead, I'm going to go ahead and put my comments in, in a question form. So you'll get another idea of where I'm going. Is Justice Roberts a Bush-loving scumbag that worked with Bush Jr. to steal the missing $9.1 trillion from the Treasury Department? Some of us remember that story. Funds allocated towards the Global Prosperity Funds. Those funds were to come to us. Did Justice Roberts work together with Papa Bush or Jr. to avoid Nassara? Was Bush Jr. a puppet? and had to have his daddy move into the White House on September 9th, 2011 to prevent, prevent Nassara from being announced. And instead, over 3,000 innocent lives were taken away from a hologram, uh, taken away or definitely injured from a hologram or remote control device on September 11th with bombs implanted in the buildings from that day of horror. Did you know just as Roberts caught was got caught by transferring $3 trillion to his own personal bank account and $10 trillion to... Cheney, Bush, Clintons, and McCain. So was Bush a de facto president? He wasn't a constitutional president. Was he a de facto president? He had strings. Did you know Nassara pays out $100,000 each month for 11 years to every American citizen? Again, these are from the articles that I'm reading, which this would actually change people's lives. Did you know it completely wipes out your debts? Did you know you, you treasonous traitors in Congress get a one-way ticket to Gitmo or executions or prisons, whatever their destiny is? Did you know that over 6,000 patents for cures for diseases will be released? Did you know it initially was formed by fighting farmers that got defrauded? And did you know Nassara is an offshoot of the 14th Amendment? There was only one problem. The USA did not have enough bull bullions to, uh, to, uh, to back this Nassara plan because we want to have something that's solid. We want to get, we want a, the, the Treasury Department to be completely removed or restructured. We don't want to count on the dollar, which is manipulated by humans. So Trump did go to India. Yes. All right. Now, uh, Trump did go to India and Trump worked out a deal with India to buy, uh, buy from us and pay it in gold. And India is a friendly partner for we know now. Um, and why would a nation in India celebrate and welcome President Melania Trump? There were over 100,000 attendees at this huge welcome party. Never has this ever happened in my lifetime. So that is very rare because they know because of Trump's plan to implement Nasara and Jasara is going to make their country and the people of India very wealthy. Here is an article right here posted by Bretsky7 at Bretsky7 uh, that gold was found in India, lots of it. So there's the gold. So it's a win-win. Now, some people, I'm kind of jumping back and forth, but some people are asking, why can't this be implemented now? This is why. This is where coronavirus comes in, okay? Dirty cops, crooked politicians, deep state cabal needs to face their just, justice before any of these benefits go into effect. And we are watching this happen now. Now, I want to tell you this. While I was writing this article, it started from last Friday, and now I'm just adding more to it. It's not as organized as I would like it to be, but I want this message to get out because a lot of things had happened just in the last 12 hours. Um, I'm going to jump down to here. Um, now they're using coronavirus. As, as targeting people. And here's a few links for you to enjoy. Now, I want you to listen to this. This is kind of interesting from uh, Maria Bartiromo. And uh, she posted this. And it's at Sweet, it, it's Sweet Thing um, that uh, shared this uh, video. Listen very carefully. Me, and I don't want to 
panic anybody, but my sources are telling me that we're going to see tens of thousands, ultimately hundreds of thousands of cases in the United States. This is going to happen. That's why the administration so, tried to get ahead of On that point, over which period of time? We're talking we about are, the next six if, months if to a year. Reach that number. The next six months to a year, we're going to see hundreds of thousands of cases. Are you going to see this market go up and down along well, with Well, I think we are going to see that kind of volatility until we understand what this means. Now, one thing I also want to add with that hundreds of thousands of cases coming is that not everybody is going to get deathly sick. I mean, there are therapeutics, there are therapies that will treat this. A vaccine is a year away. We're not going to see a year. So a Federal Reserve rate cut, you know, money from the Fed, stimulus, that doesn't cure coronavirus. So you really need a much more, um, you know, optimistic feature from the pharmaceutical companies. You need clarity from the pharmaceutical companies about this. And we just don't have that. And, and when you don't right, have information, you yeah. sell, you think later. I'll, I'll... OK, so it goes it's a really a win win for us. It's not a Democrat or Republican thing. It's not a left or right. It's all about good versus evil. People in Congress that dreaded for Nassara to come into play are the crooked treasonous ones. They're the ones that actually have very fat bank accounts because they have done their dirty deeds in Congress. They are from both sides. I will not stand for anyone, regardless of the party, that prohibits what is owed to us, our wealth. I will not stay silent about Justice Roberts until he resigns from his post as Chief Justice or from the Supreme Court entirely. I was wondered why he was such a weasel. Again, this is just my opinion, but I, how much more corrupt can a system be with our chief justice of the Supreme Court of the United States uh, to steal hundreds of millions fr of, from us? Now, coronavirus is targeting people. Here are a few links for you to enjoy. I just had you watch Maria Bartiromo's. Now, Bernie Sanders is offering free coronavirus shots only if he is elected president. That's an article there. Um, what a jerk. He's been in Congress not a lot longer than most of us have been alive, and he won't give it up unless he becomes the president. He's one of the jerks that signed that gag order about keeping Nassara quiet. They know about Nassara. They've never said a word. They watched us struggle and go through the fraudulent housing crisis, watch us get homeless, watch us go through foreclosure, watch us go through an incredible, credible change in our life financially, and they did nothing. He knows Nassara Jassara will release those patents for cures. He also knows that it's going to change our lives and everything that he's offered. Offering that scumbag. Now, Yig posted this about uh, coronavirus. So, uh, just so it doesn't get lost, locations of U.S. COVID 19 quarantine camps. Uh, they kind of happen to be where the um, indictments are. So, while I was putting this all together this morning, this is the news that just broke. Now, in Italy, they are suspending mortgage payments amid coronavirus lockdown. Is Jasara happening in other countries? Here's an article posted by at Courtney Monta, Montgo 6. Italy suspends mortgage payments amid coronavirus lockdown. As I am also continuing to write this article, news broke that UK and Scotland are doing the same thing. And the U.S. banks just quarantined themselves yesterday. They call that Project Kennedy. Interesting, isn't it? Folks, we are watching Nasara Jasara plan, which is also known as the Great Awakening. I will share more tomorrow. I have so much more to share. In sum, J Nasara Jasara will change our lives. God bless you all beautiful patriots all over the world. And thank you, Lord God in heaven, for choosing President Trump to take down take this task and to help save not only America, but the world. God bless you all.